today um i'm built that workshop or rc thought or whatever channel i'm on right now posting from and i'm doing a alternator replacement for my 1990 ford explorer 4.0 and my lovely camera lady told me that she didn't know she wanted me to continue uh, working on or she didn't know she wanted to record or not because I didn't tell her it was okay because I was already working on it so she just thought we were sitting here but I just wanted to hurry up and print and get this done because my last alternator video I ran it until the point where it got dark and I was using a flashlight and the video just wasn't that good because certain people weren't going to see what was going on. So long story short, I've already started working on the vehicle and all I did was work on the actual um, air intake system, pulled it back to where now I'm looking at the air filter. I need to change my air filter actually. Now I'm sitting here looking at it, it got all type of filth in it. So yeah, that's one thing I'm just definitely gonna check out when I get paid in a couple days. Okay, so now I am taking my belt off and I am actually looking for the tension pulley. My tension pulley is right here. If anybody doesn't know what a tension pulley is, so let my camera lady get up in there. This is your tension pulley. You're gonna be able to stick an actual socket wrench into that. It's gonna be the three fourth uh, press or whatever it's called. I don't know the term for it because I'm not a, a wrench uh, model yet. That's the right way to put it because I don't want to say the wrong term and somebody get offended, but I'm not a, um, a, a, a wrench savvy guy right now so like I said all you're gonna do is take a socket wrench stick that off in there it's gonna be a little square little tool or a little peg and I'm gonna rest my hand behind it that way you can see that it fit in there and that's actually the tool I'm gonna show you guys the tool again I don't want y'all to think I switched tools up or something like that in the middle of doing anything so all it is is this this is the tool that way you do your tension pulley all right so all i'm doing is gonna pull it back and i got it the wrong way so let me adjust it so let me switch it the other way boom so and then all i'm doing is getting the belt loose that way I can get my alternator off oh my god hold on oh, no I was doing it the wrong way oh god So maybe I found out why on my other truck the belt was loose because maybe somebody broke the tension pulley by accident. Wasn't me though, so I'm not going to say anything too much. I don't want anybody to get mad about what I say in this video. Okay, so now I'm pushing down on it. And the bug is in my ear, so now I'm getting all fidgety. I can't pull the belt off the way I want to because the doggone bug was all in my ear. Okay, push down on it again. I'm going to get my body all the way on it. Like I said, I had to get my body on it. 
So I'm gonna move that out the way. That bug is all up in my ear. I'm talking about nothings, sweet nothings. All right, so. So now what I'm doing, I'm just removing all my clamps. And I wanna find a good way to do it without destroying them. So that's one clamp out the way. And then, I think that's just a plug, so I can just pull that off. So, yeah, get up in here for you can see. I might have to use a screwdriver, so. Use a screwdriver. Like I said, the battery is not connected. Always disconnect your battery. Never work on a vehicle while the battery is connected. Especially while working with something that has something to do with power. Move that clamp with my screwdriver. And then there's another one that I don't feel safe with pulling for real. It feels like somebody already dug the alternate arrow. Cause it's all wiggly. So I might be just looking at an old alternator that was put on. So what I'm gonna do is finish figuring out what this plug is, whether this is a bolt or what back here. I want you guys to see what it is. I just want to remove this covering. Here, I'm gonna let that get up in here. So where this screwdriver is pointing, there's a actual plug. I don't know if it's a bolt or what that I have to take loose, but that's really what I'm working on right now. And then it's a clamp. Like I said, it's all wiggly like somebody already did alternator work. So I'm kind of scared that I'll destroy the clamp that's on here already. Yep, I heard it, I messed it up. But it's okay because I'm replacing the alternator anyways. Okay, yeah, that was just part of the old old alternator. That's what I was feeling. I thought I broke the actual clamp, but it's just part of the old alternator. So I'm gonna get that out of there when I get time, or maybe right now. I don't know. My OC might kick in. How many minutes am I at camera lady? 9.20. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of speed up a little bit. I'm gonna leave that alone. That way I can save some time. So, and then there's a hose right here. I'm not messing with that. Covering. 
So, yep, there is a bolt under that. So, I'm just going to pull that up. And we're going to see... We're going to see what kind of size bolt that is in a second. So, but I'm going to hit these three spots where I can see them. So, I'm going to show you them three spots. Come on, camera lady, get up in there. Get in there. That's the one. That's the two. And that's the three. The fourth one will be back here. That's where your cable is actually at, where I had to remove the cover and other, whatever, the plug looking dilly. So go ahead and pause it. Okay, so we're over here at the new old alternator. I didn't get a brand new alternator because I figured it's a truck that I'm just gonna tear up and just mistreat stuff like that for the moment. I went and got me a used alternator. Get my drink out of the way. I don't like it, I don't like it, I anything. So, I'm just gonna work on the back of this one just to figure out what the actual bolt size was for the side that's gonna be reaching under. So I'm gonna turn it around to where you guys can see how I'm actually working on it. So if I was working on it right now, it'd be turned like this. This side is turned it's towards me. So, like I said, that just got done prying this part off. The old truck, I guess they just cut it. They didn't care about getting the harness off or whatever. But the actual way that I got it off, I just dug behind it and used my finger and pulled at the same time. But now, like I said, I'm just trying to figure out what the bolt size is for this one. That way I can just go straight to pull the other one off. So I have a bag of parts. That was so close. So I'm gonna go up to a 10. I know that's too big. That's 11, I know that's too big. Right, this is a 10. Oh. 10, I know that ain't no 10. 3 eighths. I know that doesn't equal 10. Yeah, that would equal the nine. Cause it's the same fit. Yep, same fit. I have, I know that's too big. the size right there you need a 10 millimeter so I'm just gonna take this off take the little remaining clamps off of here same way I did the other side or the other one so I'm gonna pause get this prep get, get a shot of me so I look like I dressed up a little bit to fix on the car and I'm actually getting my clothes very like messy but I'm gonna show you something that's gonna make you real look like really dirty so, I looked at how I can get behind the alternator. And I was like, oh, maybe I need an extension. So I went, routed the little extension back there. And it didn't line up. I'd be right here trying to wrench in it. So, simplest way for me, that scene, I don't really care. Because I'll replace it myself if I wanted to. I pulled the holes back to get back there. Because... Yeah, that's the only way that you're gonna sit here and be able to wrench on it the way you need to. 
So it's not going to hurt it if it does shit. You got to replace a hole. The holes ain't nothing. It's right here to right here. It's just like this long. That long of a hose. You're not going to miss out on anything if you get it loose or something. So I'm going to put that on there now. Wrench that up out of there. I'm actually going to have her to pause while I'm wrenching on it. Alright, so I'm on the top bolts. Now I'm just going to wrench these with a half. So, you might need to put a little elbow on it. But, they're not that bad. You can reach all of them. They're up top. So, like I said, we're gonna, I'm going to point them out to you again. It's one. There's two. And there's three. I'm going to get up in there. Get up in there. Get up in there. Three. All right. So, I'm going to go ahead and get those taken off. And then I'm going to show you me putting the new one in. So, we're going to pause. So I got one of these wrenches, right? I'm gonna show you a little trick with this little wrench right here. With the press socket wrench, the wrench that I'm using, I'm using this wrench too. We're gonna put the little hole right here at the end of it. And I'm just gonna push the other way for the help. Cause when you get ready to reach down in here, you're sideways, so you're not going to be able to get at it the way you want to. So, that's just a little trick for you right here. Okay, so now, as I got all the three bolts out on the sides and the back, I'm going to act like I'm pulling it out, and there should be something else holding it. I think it might be something else holding it in. Um, let's see. Um, oh, it's a clamp. It's an actual, it's another clamp. It's holding a hose. I don't really like that there's a clamp on the alternator. So, I'm going to show you guys that. It's a clamp. And a fitting that's holding a hose on the side of the alternator. You have to pop that loose to actually get it all the way out of there. So, like I said, I knew something was supposed to be still holding in. I just forgot. But I'm going to hurry up and just pull that out with a flathead screwdriver. So I'm going to reach for my screwdriver real quick. Show you how easy it is. Here's that. And all you're doing is wedging in there. So now you should be able to just pull it straight out. It's the old alternator. So we're gonna pause, show you the new one. This is marked with the little sticker. So my camera lady pointed out to me that the other alternator does look smaller. Looks way smaller than the other one is. So I might got one for a different model explorer. I really don't know the difference of what it's gonna do with performance wise, but I'm just, I'm gonna check it out cause I want my truck running. So I'm definitely gonna see if it's just an aftermarket part or what. So I'm just gonna fit it back in there. Like I said, this is the new one. So go back over here and fit it up in there. Awesome. Okay, so we over here and we trying to see if it fits in here normal. And I guess it does. I don't really know why. I don't know why the other one looked like it's bigger. Maybe it is bigger. I don't know. I'm not really caring. Maybe I could have took the old alternator off my brown truck that I have in my garage and just put it on here. But I don't want to do all that. I just want to fix my trucks as I go and make sure I got my vehicles running all together. I don't want to be mismatching and doing all other stuff. So. It fits, I'm just gonna bolt it in. 
and reinsert the clamps. I'm gonna show you that in a minute. All right, so reinsert your clamps. That's it. Take a little bit of time to pull this off. 